my name is Ms. Tushan Kimura. I'll be in the Jesus lesson showing you a video. Jack, stand and 
until. Anyone else? Yes? Yes, John? Good. He says the video is basically based on food. Chi. So, who can stand and tell me what is a food chi? Who has an idea to tell me what is a food chi? Anyone? What is a food chi? What basically is a food chi? What makes up a food chi? So, I have a definition here. It says a food chain. Well, a food chain or energy chain. So, a next name for a food chain, we could also call it an energy chain. Shows the feeding relationship among living organisms. So, a food chain is basically showing the relationship among organisms. Producer are plants. So we all know that producer are plants. A food chain always starts with a producer. We know that. Sometimes we could say that <clears throat> we have grass, then we have the grass supper eat the grass. Then we could put the an, an other animal there that could eat the grass supper, right? So basically the food chain always start with a producer. That must always have a producer, right? Consumer are animals that eat plants or animals and are animals for food. So consumer are animals that eat plants, right? So basically we have the consumer that eat the plants. For example, a consumer could be a sheep, right? Or we say a herbivore that eat green plants. So we could say that we have the plants, then you have the sheep eat the plant, then we, then we could have a tiger eat the sheep, then we could have a an ex animal that eats the tiger. So now, I will now hand you over to Sir Ellis Walcott and he will, and he will go further in the lesson. Well, so good afternoon children. Um, you all know that my name is Sir Ellis and I will be taking you further into this lesson based on food chain, right? So, um, Based on what Mr. Shani would have said, I will be taking you further in identifying what, sorry, some examples of food chain, right? Everybody enjoying this um, topic so far? Now, we, as we all know that, as we, so we all know that food chain um, has to do with both plants and animals. Now, as Mr. Shan, he would have said that a food chain always begins with the producer. Now, what is the producer? Let me hear from one of you. Good. The producer is always a plant, right? But can the plant, can it only be grass or something? Grass alone? No. What else can it be other than grass? What other plants you think animals would normally eat? Do you think they would want to eat those big tall trees? Very good. Of course we have animals eating those tall grown trees, right? But um, most animals look for the small plants or the bearing of plants, right? And the animals that eat the plant is called what? The consumer, good. So let's identify some examples here. And then I want you to share your examples. So I'm going to show you some examples, at least two, and then you're going to show me your example. You're going to figure out. All right, so here's what I will do, right? We're identifying this, these examples together. Um, I will write the names on the board. Now, have you ever noticed though, at food chain there is an arrow that links these, these plants and animals? 
Now, what does the arrow represent? Does anyone know? No. Okay. Anybody wants to make a try? Good. So the arrow represents the flow of energy, right? Let me let, let's, let us identify the examples, and I will show you what exactly I mean by the flow of energy. So, example one. Give me a plant or an arm, how a plant that we can start this coaching by. We all know that it begins with, with a plant. Good. So, um, carrot. Very good. So, let's begin with the carrot. So, carrot. What will eat this carrot? Example of animal that you know will be carrot. No, no. Can, can we have a, a lion eating carrot? No man. Give us something else. We can have um. All right, let me give you. We can have a rabbit, right? You know the rabbit that jumps all around the place. Yes, they normally go in the garden and eat your carrot for you before you um, could reap it. So we have carrot. We can have a rabbit eating the carrot. What will eat this rabbit? A fox. Very well, um, Elijah. Rabbit, fox. Good, so we have so far we have the carrot, we have rabbit, and then we have fox. Now um can we go on further? Yes, we can go on further because of course we have other animals that will now eat this fox. Right? So but anyhow, this is an example of a tree tree um a tree link food chain. Say that with me. A tree link food chain. So that's where we have three things, right? If you notice, we have the plant, then we have the rabbit, then we have the fox. And if we go on further, where we have what can we have eating this fox here? Another animal. It's good, a lion. Very good. A lion. Right? Now we have, we have one more animal here now. How many links are here? One, two, three, four links, right? So this will be a four link food chain. Now these animals, they have names, right? They have names. The carrot, which is the producer, and then whatever it the, eats the plant, we call them a primary consumer, right? All of them here are called consumers. Even us are called consumers, human, right? Well, so the animal that eats the plant is called a consumer, a primary consumer, right? Go on further. The animal that eats the animal that eats plant alone, we call them a secondary consumer. What do we call it? A secondary consumer. Very good. So this is example one. So you think we get in there? You think we you getting an idea of what exactly is a food chain? So it's basically how living organisms feed, right? Or how we depend on each other. Because we cannot get food without these things. We cannot get food without plant. If they are um, the fox cannot get food without the rabbit, right? So it's basically how we depend on each other, how we get our food, right? How we pass on energy, how energy is passed on to other animals. Good, so let's do a next example. So 
example two. So um, let's begin this one with grass. Now a food chain, whenever you're making a food chain, you always should put up the arrow, right? Because the arrow represents the flow of energy. There always should be an arrow here. So we have grass. What can eat the grass? A grass of bar. Good. So a grass support will eat the grass. What can eat the grass support? What normally eats grass support? What does that animal need with a long tongue that jumps? And whenever it sees a grass support, it sticks its thumbs up. What do we call that? We call it a uh, frog. Very good. What can eat a frog? Anybody know? A snake. Alright? Snake. You never see these things happening? Good. So these are two examples of food chain. Right? You think you understand? Anybody have any question you want to ask me? Anything more you want to know? Alright, so we have example one and we have example two. Now, here's what I want you to do for me. I have some worksheets here for you. These are all um, food chains that I have. They're not in order, they're out of arrangement, right? So you, your task is to arrange it. You're going to arrange each name, arrange the name, in an order that it will be a food chain, right? Where they will share the flow of energy. Now, you know, each of them has a um, begin with plan. So I will share out and then I will collect it back from you. Good, so I think all of you should have finished by now. Is that so? Yes, sir. Alright, very good. I like them all. You are working. That is very good. I like brave children. Sir, I would like to share my food chip. Alright, very good. Uh, so, so, my first one. Good, so now I would like you to share with me now your food chain that you would have arranged. Right? Good. Who, are, who is willing to share your own forest with me? Sir, I would like to share mine. Yes. So, Angela. I have a flower. No, yes. so, stop, stop. So your food chain it begins with? A flower. A flower, very good, yes. Then I have the, the flies. Then you have the? The flies. So the, so the flies will be the flower. Yes, then I have the frog. So the frog eat the flies. Selena, continue sharing with us. Yes. Your food chain that you have. So I have the corn, the mouse eat the corn. So your food chain begins with the corn. Oh. Very good. The mouse eat the corn. Then you will have the mouse eating the corn. Then I have the snake eat the mouse. And then the snake will eat the mouse. Then very I good. The That's owl very good so snake. far. And then the owl, eat the the owl snake. will eat the snake. So let's see if she's correct. We have our list. Give me it back, Angelina. Corn. She has corn. Then the mouse eat the corn. Then we will have the mouse eating the corn. What comes next? Then I have the snake eat the mouse. Snake eating the mouse. Then I have the owl eat the snake. Okay, um. Is she correct, class? Yes, sir. Very good. Give her a round of applause. Very good. I like that. Good. So, very good for Angelina. Now, let's hear from one more person. 
I see you come Sonia. Yeah, Sonia. She yes. will dance your Fuji. So my Fuji, I have the trees. Then you have the trees. Then here. Listen carefully. Then here in the trees. Then and one. then I have the lion. Very good. So that's how many um, organisms are here? So there are three organisms. That one has a three organism. Okay, so how many links that one there have class? Oh, it's a three link food chain. Right? Let me just write it on the board. So we have trees. The trees. Then the deer. Then you will have the deer. Then the lion. Have you seen a deer? Have you ever seen a deer in real life before? No, sir. You never seen one? No, sir, never. Only in the pictures? Yes, sir. Okay. So probably one day you will hope to see one. Isn't that so? Yes, sir. So three is deer and then we have? The lion. The lion. Very good. Good, but do you think um, the deer would um eat a whole tree no just a part of it not so just a part just the young leaves right yes. it's just the leaves not the whole tree yes sir. good good so um children i think that's all i would like you to know for this lesson all right so we have come down to the end of today's lesson now but before we conclude i would like to recap with you what we would have learned so far Right? And I guess that everyone would have learned at least something. It don't have to be much, but I know you have learned something. Isn't that so? Yes, sir. Right, I like that. Right, so let's just do a quick recap on what we have learned. So first of all, I would like you to tell me what's a food chain. You can say it in your own words. It's okay. You don't have to give me the direct definition that we look at. Right? Then who would like to share? Sure. Uh, a food chain shows the relationship among living organisms. Good, good. A food chain shows the relationship among living organisms. Very good. Uh, but we have a next name that we can use for food chain instead of food chain. What's it? Energy chain, sir. Energy chain. Very good. Good. So now in a food chain, we all know that food chain always begins with what? A producer, sir. A producer. And follow the things that would normally eat the plant and so on and eat the other animals and so on. What do we call them? Uh, sir, um, we have... Good. So what do we call them? Consumers, sir. Cons very good. Consumers. And we have different types of consumers, isn't that so? Yes, sir. But what are they? Uh, we have the primary consumer, the primary, secondary consumer, secondary. and the tertiary consumer. Tar tar Very good. Alright, so um, we would have, that would have brought us to the end of our lesson today. Um, I would like you to do a homework for me, right? Your homework would be, you're going to create two food chains for me of your own, right? Yes, this is not anything difficult, you know. This one thing you allow me that to do. You sit down for five minutes and you think about some animals and create a food chain for me. Is that okay? Yes, sir. All right, very good. So have a good rest of your afternoon and be yourself. You too, sir. Goodbye. Bye-bye.